Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. On this episode, we are going to be reviewing Fentiman's Rose Lemonade, and this is at the request of Tim Hutchinson. Tim, thank you for requesting the soda and for supporting the show. I'd also like to say thank you to Alex Messenberg, Jeremy McAdoo, Isaiah Clay, and V Rat V Trap for supporting the show and for uh, leaving great comments on the show on YouTube. I really appreciate it. This is the ninth episode in our 10 consecutive viewer requested episodes in celebration of us reaching episode number 200. So let's dive in. Let me show you the box here. Fentiman's Rose Lemonade. The Fentiman's uh, sodas come in kind of a neat uh, bottle, unique bottle. And again, this is Fentiman's Rose Lemonade. Let me take a look at the box first. This side appears to be in French, while the other side is in English. This particular, these bottles of Fentiman's were produced in Canada, so that's why they're in both uh, English and French. Just flip the side to get whatever language you speak in or whatever language you can read. After a fellow tradesman welched on a loan, iron puddler Thomas Fentiman found himself in possession of a secret process for brewing a smashingly good ginger beer. His quintessentially British beverages quickly became one of Europe's most renowned effervescent refreshments. More than 100 years hence, Fentiman's continues to tantalize persons of discerning taste across the continents. Brewed and bottled for Fentiman's North America, Burnaby, uh, British Columbia, Canada, under license from Fentiman's Limited, Newcastle upon Tyne, UK. Uh, unfiltered, up and bottled to gently invigorate for naturally superior flavor. Botanically brewed natural sodas. That's what it says here. In the early 1900s, Fentiman's began its seven-day brewing and fermentation process, creating its time-honored recipe for success. Today, we continue this tradition by using pure rose oil extracts from the valleys of Bulgaria, while providing a delightful blush, blush pink color and the perfect rose flavor to our signature rose lemonade. So that's the box. Take a look at the bottle here. Fermented botanical drink with ginger and pure rose extracts. Fentiman's botanically brewed traditional rose lemonade. Fentiman's established 1905. So let's take a look at the nutrition facts. This is a 9.3 ounce bottle. I'm going to give you uh, facts that are quoted at 12 ounces though, just so we have that common baseline here on soda tasting. There are 168 calories, 32 milligrams of sodium, 41 grams of total carbohydrates, 31 of which are sugars. The ingredients are carbonated water, lemon juice concentrate, cane sugar, glucose syrup, fermented ginger root extracts, which is ginger root, water, and yeast, pear juice concentrate, lemon flavoring, citric acid, tantric acid, natural color, which is grape skin extract, and rose oil. All right. I bought this at Harris Teeter, grocery store chain. So 160 ca 168 calories, caffeine-free, sweetened with cane sugar and glucose syrup. I get kind of a really light lemon smell with, I guess, a hint of ginger. This is a really tart lemon flavor, and when most people think about lemonade, I think that they look at it as, you know, lemon and sweet. And so this isn't particularly sweet in my view. It's just very, very tart. And I guess the rose oil and the ginger add what I kind of pick up as a bitterness. So it's kind of a really sour, tart, bitter drink. Not so much sweetness, not so much what you might think of as being a traditional lemonade, but it's a rose lemonade. So obviously it's supposed to be different. But that's just what I get, kind of an overwhelmingly tart drink. Um, you know, lemon ish but not like you would uh have like a lemon soda so yeah it, it definitely has that sort of um botanical brewed feel to it as the other fentiman's drinks do uh sort of an herbal quality to it i think if you want just a really really tart lemon then this is an interesting drink that you might want to take a look at 
if you're looking for more of a traditional sweet lemonade, then this isn't really um, going to be up your alley. Me personally, for my personal taste, I want to put this at 2 out of 5. It's, you know, it's an okay drink, but it's not particularly enjoyable. So I would like to know, have you had Fentiman's Rose Lemonade? What do you think? Let me know in the comments on YouTube or on sodatasting.com. Please subscribe to receive new episodes of the show via Facebook, Twitter, Google+, RSS, or email. Please find all of those links at sodatasting.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, everything in moderation.